What is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your 20th Angular 2 tutorial in which we'll be starting off with a simple login application for Angular 2. Well we did create one for AngularJS in the previous playlist of AngularJS and I found it to be quite successful. So here I am to create another one for Angular 2. Well if you are kind of you know perplexed to see all of those stuff right here and you don't know how I got this I'm just saying that for the users who have come directly from some other page to this page then you could probably go to my angular 2 playlist and uh, I have demonstrated how I have set this up in some tutorial I don't know I guess it's in the first five tutorials or something you can just search that and I would probably leave a link to my playlist as well in the description so that anybody can go and pretty much play all the videos if they like to so what we are gonna do in this kind of mini series for a login application I'm just giving you an overview is that we are gonna create a simple login form which would authenticate the users or the administrators depending and would uh, just redirect them to appropriate pages and obviously we would secure the pages by making use of that there's no unauthenticated access to a particular page well before even starting this <coughs> I want to say that this method is highly insecure and uh, anyone could probably break out of this because all of this code which we are gonna write would be running on our browser itself so that gives anybody the opportunity to see what we have written and in the best case scenario what you can do is just encrypt your JavaScript but it itself doesn't allow the user doesn't block the user to see your code so for example if you are writing like if username is admin and password is this and then redirect them to this create session like this and all that stuff but what happens is that user can actually just view source or do something else to view this thing right here so user knows that if he enters the username as admin and password as <clears throat> one two three four five he can get access to the administrator area well we can just probably fix this by simply moving the authentication part to the back end and leaving the rest of the work same so if we get time we'll probably do that as well but for now let's just concentrate on angular 2 and uh, let's get started now as you can see pretty much i have cleared everything you can see like <coughs> i have only just this main.ts then there's nothing in templates nothing in js kind of and nothing in css so we are just gonna start from the scratch bottom okay so now as you know we need to create an app.j app.ts file right here which will just include our first code so I'm just gonna say import component from angular to core then import route config let's just import it right now because we are gonna need it anyways router directives from angular 2 slash routes then we need to create a component so let's just create one this is a component then we have <coughs> we want to have a selector and if I go to my index.html file you can see I have renamed the selector to root so we are gonna make use of this one only so I'm gonna say in my app.ts that my selector is root then I want the template to be <coughs> router outlet now obviously you know that what this would do and uh, what it would do is actually it would just whatever routes we are gonna set it's gonna throw all of those components into this template tag so this is kind of a parent of every component we are gonna make use of in our application then next thing we want to have is directives obviously so that we can just inject all of that stuff inside this and uh, yeah pretty much we are done here and for route config we're gonna need an array and inside this array we're gonna pass in our properties 
So we are going to say that when the path is home page, then what I want is that my component should be, let's just say this is login form. And uh, let's just name it, let's give it a simple name of, let's just say, um, login or login form. Simple as that. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead with a single route config for now. And uh, yeah, so the next thing we need to do is create export class. And uh, this should be what this should be. Uh, let's just say uh, login app and login app pretty much like that uh, let's just leave it blank for now and right here we also need to import that in the main dot ts and I'm gonna say login app from what this is app dot ts all right so if I look it in the browser for now Okay, it wouldn't probably work because we don't have we haven't created this login form component so far. So let's just go ahead and create this. And I'm gonna say login or let's just name it component dot login dot ts. And I guess I just missed that tradition of naming. So let's just rename this to component dot app dot ts just like we were doing in the last application. So component dot app dot ts. Here we go and everything else looks fine okay the next thing import let's just say this is login component from the same file component dot login dot ts pretty much and uh, right here we're gonna create a component only but with a lot of not used code like this and uh, we don't need a selector here so let's just say my login um, we don't need the route config as well directives we need that so let's just get rid of this and for login component we have this thing all right so if you check out in the browser we have got a bunch of errors unexpected token oh okay so this should be login form actually and this one as well okay I guess I haven't actually connected it it was a previous one so you or me make sure you just do npm start in your local directory and uh, looks like we still have some errors all right, component app.ts.js. All right, so this should be router, and uh, this should be router. Then we have similar sort of error app.js. Let's just delete this folder. Component app.ts. Oh poor me we don't have to include the TS and what happens all right so now you can see that it's working so we have just set it up our simple two components right now the first one being the index component which would just take care of all the stuff we have on the website and then accordingly we can just break down our website into simple components for example I've just created this simple one my login then we could just customize it for a login form and pretty much just go ahead and do some more sort of routing and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and i guess i didn't show you this one so oh
okay so this was out of my window view so I just realized that I haven't shown this so as you can see this is working and just like it we're gonna end this video right here and if you liked it again then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching